here we are looking at the top of our stocking. Here we have that lovely little Pico edge. A couple people asked me exactly where do you put through the piece that you're going to use to hang it. So here is my little hanging piece. Okay. I left a little bit of an extra tail on it. I want to put it through one of the Pico holes. Maybe yarned over, knit two together. And the reason I want it to be this one is because this one is going to be in the middle of the back of the stocking. When it's blocked, it will be blocked so that it sits like this. And this will be the back spine. So now what I want to do is I want this set of ears, if you will, to be secured down. on the inside of the work. Now I can either leave them together like this or I could splay them out. I'm just going to leave them together this time because we talked about splaying them out in the previous video when we did the last stocking. And I know no one likes to knot their work, but this is going to be on the inside underneath the Pico edge. In other words, no one's going to know it's there. So now my stocking is secured to here on the hanger, but the hanger is still a little loose. So now we're going to go back again. And secure it down. secured it to itself and now we're securing it on the inside of the work notice now you don't see the tail pulling out you could even tighten that down a little bit more Since it's going to be hanging, we want to secure it in the same direction as it will hang. So since it will hang like this, we want to make sure that we have properly secured it in that same axis. For good measure, we're going to put a few more on the other side of it too. Again, since it's hanging vertically, we want to make sure that when we sew it, we've sewn it in both directions, but paying a little extra attention to the direction in which it will hang, because that way you won't have it pulling. Remember, wool is inclined to be a little bit elastic. Stockinette is definitely elastic. We want to make sure we have a good way to secure it in the axis that it's going to take the most abuse. So 
this is just a simple whip stitch. It doesn't have to be fancy, because remember, this is all going to be hidden on the inside. It'll be our little secret. As long as it looks good from the outside, we're good. All right. So the next thing to do is to block it, and then I will fold this over and sew it. The reason I want to block it first is to help eliminate some of this roll. And we'll do that next.